Good morning. You might have to wait just one minute here to meet Elvis, but we do have Rachel joining us right now. <laughs> She's with Potawatomi. We are talking all about a tribute to the king. Now, things are actually kicking off this afternoon with some flash mobs. Tell us about that. Well, this 10th anniversary week, we're starting off uh, going around the city, doing a little routine. We take 15 Elvises uh -huh. all the way around the city. We're starting at 345 at the airport. Then we move to the intermodal station, and then we go to Red Arrow Park, and then we end up back here at Potawatomi's Grand Lobby. Wow, and people can, people can track the Elvises too, right? Yeah, you can. There's an Elvis tracker that'll go from location to location and what time we'll be there. And it is on PaysBig.com. You can follow that. Very nice. And then the competitions actually start tonight. Big prize, more than $25,000 to the best Elvis. $25,000 and 10. We tacked on $10 Ooh. for the 10th anniversary. <laughs> Big money. All right. Yeah. And it goes through Sunday. Very exciting, huh? Yeah, definitely. It runs all week long. We have rounds during the day at noon and 3 that are free. We also have uh, the evening contest goes during the show at 7.30 each night. Very so. nice. Now, you guys have been waiting so patiently. Here he is, Elvis. Oh, there he is. Now, this is Ryan Felton, and he is one of the top-notch Elvis impersonators. Now, tell us a little bit about how do you get into this field? How does this even happen? I got dared to enter a contest. You know? Really? It started yeah. with a dare. I start from my mother. Of all wow. people. Yeah. I used to build websites for a living, you know, and uh, I got dared to enter this contest because I couldn't walk into Kmart without someone saying, you look like Elvis. You oh, know? So it's been uh, around my whole life. I entered a contest. I won. That's how it started. I used to build websites for a living. Wow. Now, you um, actually were in the military, too, and you got it your whole life. If you, whether you had long hair, short hair, whatever you had, people always said you look like Elvis. Yeah, yeah, and it's no fun being in the Marine Corps. Being nicknamed Elvis Presley, let me tell you, that's 13 and a half <laughs> weeks of no fun. Now, how do you learn the moves? How, I mean, are, did you have an Elvis coach or what? What did you do? I saw him earlier. He was shaking his hips a little bit. How do you learn how to do that? Uh, there's a school right next to MIT called the Elvis College of Moves. Well. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> you got to watch video, you know, um, and more important, you got to make it your own, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, Elvis was Elvis. I mean, I don't know if anyone really moves like Elvis except for Elvis, you know, so you kind of. Try to just do the best you can and uh, bring it into what you got and uh, go out there and do it. But you're actually a singer-songwriter yourself as well, and you have your own band too. Yeah, yeah, actually uh, out of Nashville, Tennessee, and we just released our first album this year and got signed as a songwriter in Nashville, so it's good stuff. Very exciting. Can we see one little one little hip thrust there? Oh, it's, it's all about you got to oh! load it up and then you go. Oh! Well, there you go, Sean Patrick. Very exciting. But Whoa. you might want to tell you might want to tell Rob to watch out because Elvis here has actually done weather and leather. Is that right? That's right. Elvis <laughs> does the weather and leather. <laughs> Rob's done it in jeggings so Rob once. Has, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, Rob has well done it in jeggings before. Uh, well. Oh. <laughs> What's better, jeggings or leather? I vote leather. What yeah, do you vote, Sean Patrick? You like Patrick? the leather. All right. You got to have a contest. I think yeah, there you go. Contest. Have them side by side, weather square. Oh off. yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs>